So this first Japanese Grand Prix at Fuji for 30 years, we're going to start behind the safety car. I'm finding this difficult to believe, but apparently the Ferraris are on the, what I call the intermediate, and we've got a Ferrari off already, aquaplaning off the road. If they are on those intermediate tyres, they're completely crazy. And now Massa pits for presumably the full wets. So we're under the safety car, we haven't unleashed them yet here in Fuji, we're being told that the safety car will come in this lap and it's a question of when does Lewis put the hammer down and what does Alonso do about it and we are racing at Fuji Speedway for the first time in 30 years and the run down to the first corner is a lot more simple for Hamilton than it was in Spa two weeks ago Heidfeld has had a problem He's Jensen Button has gone past him so too has Mark Webber and third place man Heidfeld now gets passed by teammate Kubica we've got an accident there for, and it looks like Felipe Massa in the Ferrari and Alex Vert who are at the back of the field have collided. He's dropped it a long, long way before the corner and just sideswiped Massa. Riding on board. Sebastian Vettel in third place. What a great uh, performance by him yesterday in qualifying and now he finds himself in a wonderful position. Hamilton has pulled out a gap of 2.2 seconds over Fernando Alonso. Here's a look what happened between Button and Heidfeld. And Button... Did he lose his front wing? He's very lucky if he didn't. Yeah, he did. Staying out in fifth place with no front wing. That's a replay of some time ago, isn't it? A couple of laps ago. Can't be, surely. He cannot be doing those kind of times with yes. no front wing at all. Fire down at Super Aguri. Sato takes off with the car on fire. And it's raining hard enough to put it out, probably. It has gone out. So Sato, uh, Sato rejoins the race after... Uh, Another drama. Here we're riding on board with Kimi Raikkonen in the Ferrari, who has managed to fight his way through to 12th place. Can't imagine how brave you have to be to stick your foot down hard when that's all you can see. You're doing 205 miles an hour. As Alonso goes off the racing line, looking for the grip, trying to chase down his teammate Hamilton. There is Alonso, and into the pit lane he comes. And they'll uh, fuel that McLaren then to the end of the Grand Prix. That's why he's waiting so long. And away he goes, looks a neat and tidy stop. Hamilton should be okay here to come out, certainly in front of his teammate, and hopefully in front of Fisichella. Critical stop for McLaren then. Good work by McLaren, boys. 11.6 seconds. Absolutely seamless. Can Hamilton get out of front of the train of cars headed by Fisichello? It's got Alonso behind him. There goes the back marker, Sato. There is the Renault, and Hamilton's done it. And this is why Alonso's so far back behind those that pack. That's what you can see. A close on 200 miles an hour if you're Robert Kubica. Closing down on Giancarlo Fisichella in the Renault. Um, he probably knows whether he passed him. It looks like he did. Here you can see Heidfeld having a go at Alonso. Alonso's very slow on this set of tyres. Oh, no, there is Lewis Hamilton. Hamilton off the racetrack rejoins. Kubica's going to pass him, though. Problems for Hamilton. Oh, he looked. He just oh, ran into the side no. of him. That's rude. Battling Vettel. And this is, uh, that's not the same incident, it's yet another incident uh, down into turn one. And through goes Vettel, that's Hamilton. Hamilton. Hamilton's got problems, Vettel goes through. And Coulthard, he must have some damage to the, uh, maybe to his car, he's been very slow. Raikkonen's catching him too now. So let's get this in context here. Hamilton's fourth, the three cars in front of him all still have to stop. No, oh, McLaren, McLaren in the wall. We just saw a shot at Hamilton, I believe oh. this is Alonso. It is! Safety car has been deployed, there's a lot of debris from that McLaren scattered all over the track. Big accident yeah he's aquaplaned on the exit of turn five Weber is looking at his second podium of the season and Vettel looking at his first ever in Formula One but oh, Weber's off Weber's off into the wall I can't believe it somehow or other Mark Weber behind the safety car has gone off far enough to hit the wall oh Vettel has been hit he's been hit by Vettel big time Vettel is out as well Vettel has run into the back of Mark Webber. And uh, I guess the guy who owns the Red Bull teams, both of them, Dietrich Mateschitz, will be watching this in Austria and will be throwing something very large and heavy at his TV screen because he was looking at a double podium here. Hamilton bunches the pack up now. The second time he's done that in this Grand Prix. Got the car nice and straight before he hit the hammer. He goes across the start-finish line. He's got 19 laps. Hamilton leads. Second is Kovalainen and third is Massa. Challenging conditions and you just wonder what experience Hamilton's got to draw on here. Mark Webber was hit up the back by uh, Sebastian Vettel. Put him out of the race. He's, Louise Goodman has found him. Mark just said, what are your thoughts right now? It was kids, isn't it? 
kids with not enough experience to do a good job and they fuck it all up. Thanks, Mark. Well, I think we'll leave it there. Uh, thank you for that pretty language. Well, yeah. a very angry Mark Webber. Sorry about that. Uh, I think David Coulthard's sitting there thinking, I actually fancy a piece of the podium. Look, Raikkonen's gone right round the outside of five this time, though, where he was quicker last time, and completely surprised Coulthard there. Great driving by Kimi Raikkonen. I mentioned before that wonderful charge he put on at Suzuka to win a couple of years ago. And we're seeing another one here this afternoon. It's He's off, Raikkonen's wide, and that's where he passed Coulthard last time around, gone very, very wide, but in this day and age, there's no gravel traps, there's simply tarmac aprons, and he's straight, almost looked like he found more grip out of there. Oh, and it's uh, Raikkonen off the road yet again, where does that put David Coulthard, as he was, he never seems to lose any time, does he, he just skirts around the, I'm sure he's going to start taking that line soon. His world championship is now within reach, that was the drive of a champion, Lewis Hamilton wins the Japanese Grand Prix. He takes the 10 points and an enormous lead into the final two races. Meanwhile, no. Raikkonen and there's Massa were on board with him, battling with Kubica over sixth place. Kubica and Massa are battling here. Massa has taken the place away from Kubica. Kovalainen second, then Raikkonen third. David Coulthard's fourth. And who's going to win out of these two? It's got all the hallmarks of Dijon so many decades ago. But it's Massa who's come out in front. What an extraordinary few corners. So James Hunt said to Dicky Davis he was going to get drunk after he won here in 1976. Lewis Hamilton still has work to do in this World Championship. He's proved today he doesn't do easy wins. He survived all the scares. He takes a 12-point lead into the final two races. Don't miss them.